the healthier we eat the easier our lifestyle is going to become we're going to be able to wake up and feel great we're not going to feel pain we're going to be able to feel more like ourselves we're going to radiate healthy we're going to have a different type of glow that speaks for itself and that is a cellular upgrade that we do over time Hello, welcome to the Femme Universe. I am Tatiana. On this channel, we talk about ways to level up our vibration, health, feminine energetics, and manifesting the life our heart desires. Today's topic was created with the intentions and energies of January, as it's a month for a fresh new start, new beginnings, and for most, is the first month of the year. And it's the little things, those little habits, that create the biggest impact in our lives. So, let's dive in. It is no secret that we are what we eat. Our energies are linked directly to how we fuel our bodies. The more we treat our bodies as an investment rather than garbage collectors, the less pain we're going to deal with and the less money we're going to spend on medical procedures later on in life. We cannot have an energetic upgrade and feel at our prime if we don't treat our bodies with love and respect. We need to provide the best and healthiest nutrients for our bodies to get the best and biggest benefits. I know it's easier said than done, especially with so many different options on what we can eat, especially as there's so many fast food options available. I know the struggle myself for many years I avoided eating vegetables and after different events happened I ended up changing my diet to mainly plant-based and what happened was within a week or two my taste buds adapted to that new change. I was finally able to eat avocado without hating it which now it sounds crazy to even think that I used to hate avocado once upon a time. And now the things that I crave include dried fruits, guacamole, coconut snacks, but it didn't always used to be that way. I used to crave a lot of things with cheese. I was very much an addict. But the thing is, since it's made from cow's milk and that's the type of milk that's supposed to grow a baby cow into this big animal, it has many hormones, such as sex hormones, which ended up affecting my hormones. And back then I had to deal with terrible acne and my menstrual cycles also suffered. I had very regular menstrual cycles, but I didn't know better back then. I didn't know that a cheese releases casomorphins, which have an effect in our brain as narcotics, heroin, giving hits of dopamine, which is what makes it so addictive. Most people don't know what's inside of the food that they consume. A lot of what we don't know, we just didn't learn in school, we did not learn at home. Most of us eat according to how our parents eat. And as much as I love homemade food, not all of the ingredients are healthy in the long run. I personally love documentaries. That's how I've been able to learn so much more about health and be able to take action and continue my education afterwards. There's so many documentaries backed up by science that are available on Netflix or other platforms, making them very accessible. The healthier we eat, the easier our lifestyle is going to become. We're going to be able to wake up and feel great. We're not going to feel pain. We're going to be able to feel more like ourselves. We're going to radiate healthy. We're going to have a different type of glow that speaks for itself. And that is a cellular upgrade that we do over time. But the benefits are so worth it, absolutely rewarding. So, what documentaries can you watch that will have an impact on your health, on your longevity, on your quality of life? I will also have some documentaries available under the description below if you would like some inspiration. Exercise. So, during the holidays, right at the end, I ended up getting sick and it was a very stressful time for me. I lost a lot of weight and not the type of weight that I wanted to lose. I felt like a bony stick. 
and all I could think of when I was in the middle of all of that was how much I appreciated my health, how much I appreciated my body. So I decided to imagine ways to give back to my body and I decided to invest on workout equipment that makes exercising fun, practical and I could easily do from home. So when I started to feel better, I started to work out with even more intention than before. And after a few days, I could see and feel the results. I started to feel better and it was nice to notice all of the muscle weight that I had lost coming back. Most importantly, when we work out, we give our bodies the tools, the support to feel stronger. We provide opportunities for our bodies to gain that confidence and unconsciously we activate energy patterns to build effortless. To be able to achieve outside since we have already been able to achieve internally and when we follow healthy patterns our energies, our physiology improves from normal and primal to more confident, healthier, stronger and more reliable. Another workout that's very important to integrate as part of our lives is doing more brain activities, more games that are like mini workouts for the brain directly to keep the mind agile, entertained in a healthy and productive way, which leads to satisfaction, to be less prone to forgetfulness later on, especially as we age. And there's so many options that are available in things that can be done alone or with company that when practiced daily will have a huge impact benefiting the overall shape of the body and the mind. If you could get creative from brain workouts to body workouts as getting equipment, accessories with colors that you enjoy, if you had an option to modify space where you live for stretching, for dancing, for yoga, for workouts, that could last between 10, 20, 30 minutes or more, how would that look like for you? In order for us to activate and upgrade our energies, we need an assessment on what's working and what is not working. Imagine as if you were observing the movie of your own life playing in front of you. So imagine as if you were the one who was the third person observing and watching your reaction. So for example, it will be as if I am observing myself recording for YouTube right now and my right hand just went up and there's all of this action that is going on. So I'm just observing the things that I am doing. I'm observing my body language, my posture. I'm observing what the room looks like. I'm observing what the atmosphere feels like and I'm being more present. The whole point is to gain a different perspective. When we do this, it allows us to get out of autopilot in our minds and gain a different perspective that we hadn't considered before or we were not as aware of before, but we may have felt something intuitively. So we're exercising our instincts, we're exercising our intuition kind of like in a horror movie where you know that the actor should not open a door because something terrible could happen waiting on the other side. Or in a movie when you know that the friend is about to twist and turn tables and this is not an actual friend. This character actually makes the main character's life a lot harder than it should. It creates more of the challenges in some of the unhealthy patterns. In either scenario, when we're watching movies, it's easier to detach ourselves as we are watching a screen, but still we can feel sorry for the main character or we can fear for them or we can cheer them on. We're like, ah, can't you just see what's about to happen? And we wish that we could tell them. Now imagine that, that there is someone who wishes that they could tell you what's about to happen. So that's what we are exercising when we notice patterns. And one of the easiest ways to notice our own patterns is to detach and observe, which is one of the benefits of meditation. Meditation allows us to detach ourselves 
from our minds and allow our minds to relax to the point where we can focus on something else. And it's from relaxing that we're able to get more insights, more intuitive hits coming through an effortless path. When we are the ones observing and noticing our own patterns within our lives, when we change our perspective and allow the mind to get good at observing, this is how we activate and upgrade our minds, upgrade our bodies, upgrade our senses. As if we're noticing from a bird's point of view, looking down, where we can see a lot wider, where we can see a bigger picture rather than a deer in the headlines. So notice if you're satisfied or unhappy with your own behaviors, with other people's behaviors who have access to you. Notice how you feel energetically as if you were getting to know yourself from a different angle. The places, the people we spend time with, the things we consume one way or another have a direct impact on our energies, our moods, our cravings, our addictions, especially if we've been used to something for a long time, but we hadn't realized how toxic it was. We might have an idea, but not the degree of that toxicity. And rather, what we have gotten is just comfortable at allowing it to stay there. So you can save yourself a lot by just noticing patterns. It's easier to take healthy accountability and make modifications to include or exclude as needed to continue building more fulfilling and healthier lifestyles. Like in Feng Shui, which means the way of wind and water, Similarly, the flow of our environment plays a big role on our subconscious mind. What we surround ourselves with, whether we realize it or not, has an impact on what we energetically recognize, accept, mimic, and attract. For example, let's look at Apple and the environment they present, which is very clean, there's a lot of space, there's a lot of light, there is a minimalistic style, yet it's still sophisticated and detailed. There's trees, there is plenty of wood around, and wood subconsciously reminds us of stability, of reliability, and the peace found in nature. Now, if we were to go to an underground club, that would be a very different environment. It would have a different energy flow. It would transmit and exude more movement, more colors changing, and louder music. It would have more of a dynamic that would be very different when we compare it to Apple. They both have different purposes, they both exude different flows, they both exude different vibes, but the point when we design, when we decorate, when we arrange our environments with intention, what we're doing subliminally is that we're signaling the mind what is acceptable, what is normal. When we create a healthy looking environment, we will be more prone to make more energetic decisions under the surface that will include more organic and healthier choices by default. From what we eat, to what we consume, to what we listen to, to what we wear, to how we spend our time, which how we spend our time those little habits that we do daily is how without realizing is how we end up shaping the rest of our lives our routines have an impact on what we continue to cultivate so it's better to do it with intention rather than allowing messes to disturb our minds and lives allowing us to create more prime outcomes what we want is to create more prime outcomes rather than primal ones so it's better to do it with intention rather than continue to recycle patterns that are not healthy for us and are no longer working. Does your environment make you feel at peace, at ease? Does it make you feel inspired? Does it make you feel happy and beautiful? If you could make some changes, how would you like your environment to look and feel? What type of music would you like to listen to that makes you feel empowered, makes you feel divine, that makes you feel good? Education is not just something that we studied in school, but also how we reflect our preferences. 
our vocabulary, our manners, our attention to detail. It's what allows us to have plenty of topics to talk about and build from, leaving a positive impact on others. Educating ourselves even after school is what keeps our minds active. It's what keeps our minds creative, what allows us to keep expanding and growing. It is no secret that someone who exudes more confidence, who shows more manners and has a pleasant way of carrying themselves, carrying conversations, is more welcomed and invited than someone who lacks mannerisms, lacks emotional intelligence, lacks knowledge, as this is looked as more primal rather than evolved and elevated. There is less sense of reliability. People like to be around leaders who exude confidence, reliability, and honest leadership, which is built effortlessly the more we prepare ourselves. Aside from being able to engage with audiences with a higher and more positive impact, our way of carrying ourselves, our vocabulary, what we listen to, what we read, what we focus on and pay attention to plays a big role. So we have to be picky on what we end up selecting to give our attention to. We have so many different tools nowadays to continue to expand and increase our knowledge and education, such as podcasts, audiobooks, ebooks, aside from physical books, of course, for those who like to feel a real book. There's also online courses, online classes, documentaries that can impact how we look at ourselves, how we look at life, how we look at science, how we look at history, how we look at spirituality, how we look at the world, how we look at our planet, how we look at nature, a biology. There's so many different ways to learn. There's so many different passions ready to continue being explored. And we receive back as the way we look at life, the way that we think, the way that we communicate, the way that we radiate, and the way that we exude our energy with others and we share those energetic exchanges. It's one of the beautiful things about the human experience is being able to share times with people, share information, even if that information is a quote that might give someone a light bulb moment that they have been seeking. It's the little things that make the biggest difference sometimes. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave any light bulb moments and share your thoughts on the comment section below. Check out the description of this video for some of my recommendations based on today's topic, as well as other ways to connect with me and my world. If you would like to receive notifications when I upload a new video, make sure to turn on the bell notification icon on, so that way you're going to be the first to know when I release a new video. I hope you're having an amazing day. See you on my next video.